Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Today, I want to talk about the March release of Azure Data Studio. Now, I see the format's a little different. You're not looking at my big giant head. Um, this is much more like a, a Twitch setup, but I just wanted to focus on what, on what we're talking about today and not so much, you know, you guys looking at me. Um, so we're, we're just recording it slightly differently and we may go back to the, this format. We'll see. Don't worry about that. The Azure Data Studio release for March is huge. There's a whole bunch of stuff, uh, but three of them, three big ones that I'm going to focus on. Now, what we're looking at here right now is introducing the execution plan chapter one. In short, this is the beginning of my book on, queer, on execution plans. I still haven't gotten permission from the boss to do this, so we'll worry about that later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a notebook. Now, notebooks is one of the things they've added to the March release of Azure Data Studio. Now, notebooks are really, really exciting. Let me show you a slightly more complex notebook. Now, what we've got here is, you know, some text on top and a little bit of code, maybe some other code got later, but all of this stuff is available for us to work with and start doing things. And it gets pretty exciting pretty quick. Now, the basic markdown is fairly simple. All I did was double click there, and now you can see that I can, I can add stuff like a header or I can modify it. You know, this is also a header. Um, you know, a second tier header, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so you can keep doing from there. Whoops, there we go. Um, you can modify stuff, you can put emphasis in, and all of it will come up and show up as your markdown. And that's pretty interesting stuff. But that's not the exciting stuff. The exciting stuff is here in the code. Now you'll see that this is code, and if we take a look at it, it's T-SQL code. You guys have seen T-SQL, I'm hoping. And here's the fun bit. I can run this cell. And so it runs and I get a result set back and, and you can see the result set. And so I know you're kind of going, Grant, this isn't all that exciting. I can run T-SQL in Azure Data Studio the other day just fine. This is not new. Yes, but these are notebooks. And what I can do is I can pass this notebook over to you and then you've got my explanation of the code and my code and you can run it. No copy, no paste, no nothing. But it gets better. It gets way better than that because the kernels that are available are varied and wide. Yes, I just showed you how the SQL kernel works, but we could also be talking about the PySpark, the Spark, or the Python kernel. Now, I'm probably going to be starting to learn some Python because I'm very excited about the way these notebooks work. I've seen stuff from Microsoft and some others, and they're doing amazing things with notebooks. For example, what if I gave you some code and said, here, run this on your server. It's going to collect some data from your server. It's going to store it in the notebook, save that notebook, send it back to me. I can help you troubleshoot based on the information you've provided through my code. And I'm going to show you and tell you exactly what the code is doing. So you can step through it one step at a time, determine which ones you want to run, which ones you don't. And all of it's available and all of it's there and all of it's just simple, connected up, and all you got to do is run it. <sighs> that gets pretty exciting. What if I can combine it with Python code so that you type in some inputs here and then it runs things to build out servers and start creating containers and all the other crazy stuff that you can do? Ooh. Gets even more exciting, doesn't it? Very quickly, what we're looking at here is a simple, clean, easy programming mechanism that we can share back and forth because it will save the data, it will show up, and I can, I can transmit it around. Now, yeah, there's security implications and stuff, and we'll probably, you know, we'll deal with those as we deal with them, but, but this is exciting stuff. This is a brand new way to get work done. So it's really going to impact a lot of us in a major way. We're going to be seeing tons of things built around this, and, and keep an eye out. Um, Jean-Lucas, uh, I'm going to get his name wrong, Jean-Lucas Centauri, anyway, has already published um, an article on taking Glenn Berry scripts and um, putting them in through a notebook. There's a whole bunch more stuff like that coming out. The, this is big. Now, what I didn't tell you is, is where that query was running. Let's go over here to the servers. Now, what I've got here is, on Azure, a Postgres database, and yes, I am running scripts against Postgres from Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio now supports, as well as SQL Server, Azure Database or SQL Server on your on-premises stuff, it now supports 
Dun, da, 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 this. So this is really exciting. I mean, this is just nonstop stuff. And on top of that, it, we're not done. There's one more thing. So we've now got, we've got the notebooks, we've got the Postgres, and we're now tossing in PowerShell. Yeah, I can run PowerShell. Look at um, format document, run selection. Let's run it real quick. Ta-da, we get an output from Azure Data Studio based on the Git Azure AD user. Wow, so now I've got, mind blown, notebooks to start learning in Python. Okay, great. Um, PowerShell, because you're already using that and you can get it in here. Postgres SQL, all of this stuff added to Azure Data Studio, along with a bunch of other things that we can run all from Azure Data Studio. Azure Data Studio is becoming a major development platform. There's a lot more we can get done with it, and it's just getting bigger. So keep an eye on this space. Watch what's going on. I'll be recording more stuff on Notebooks. I'll definitely be recording more stuff on Azure Data Studio as we go forward. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.